Myth number eight claims that black holes do not shrink, but only grow. This myth is still pervasive, even though the concept of Hawking radiation is actively entering popular culture. The point is that in a vacuum, pairs of virtual particles are constantly being born and annihilated. Under normal conditions, nothing can prevent their annihilation, and we cannot detect them. But near the event horizon of a black hole, the situation changes. The particles in each pair are born at some minimal distance from each other, so the enormous tidal forces of the black hole can separate the particles and keep them from annihilating. Then one particle falls into the black hole, and the other flies away. In this case, the black hole effectively performs the work of separating the particles and turning them from virtual to real, thereby expending its gravitational energy. Since mass and energy are related, when a black hole's energy decreases, its mass decreases as well. It follows that the black hole shrinks in size. This process is called black hole evaporation, and sooner or later, a black hole that is not accreting matter will completely evaporate. However, this will take a very long time. Even for a relatively small black hole, it will take hundreds of billions of years, and the larger the black hole, the more slowly it evaporates because it has weaker tidal forces. Another mechanism for reducing black hole mass is gravitational wave emission. This can occur in a binary system containing a black hole. A black hole also expends energy in the emission of these waves, thereby reducing its mass. Moreover, right before the merger, in the last seconds, a simply enormous amount of energy is radiated, which in observed cases was comparable to 10 to 20% of the mass of the merging black holes.